introduce our next presenter uh, this afternoon. It's Jeff Nelson from Bugo Systems, who is an exhibiting company, and they're at booth 5013 here in the North Hall. And Jeff is going to talk about increasing productivity and quality of welding pipe through automation. Thank you. Thank you. video for a minute. Just for a minute. We got about two minutes of video. Just so you can see the general product, what it does. That short video showed you just two of the systems that uh, Bugo Systems provide for automating large and medium diameter pipes. For instance, say we're presented with a project such as a 30 inch diameter, 3 8 wall thickness, just standard wall. You have 60 joints to be welded. And as you might expect, the, contra the contractors traditionally use stick for all of these applications. They expect a reject rate of maybe up to 21 percent. But someone who did the quoting realized that they underquoted it and now they need it faster and more efficient. And it's a 100 percent RT job. Keep this in mind as we look at the rest of this presentation. Presented with the project we just had, what needs to happen? Well, we need to increase productivity. We can always add more people to the job, but in this economic climate, we can't really just go out and add more welders. Adding people will make the job go faster, but it would add a huge labor cost. We know that it's already been bid. We have a limited amount of uh, funds for the labor. So, we have to do something to make each person accomplish more. We have to increase productivity by improving their efficiency. Given that problem, automation may be the answer to your problem. Applying automated welding to your medium and large diameter pipe projects allow you to accomplish more using the same amount of energy in the same amount of time. Automation improves efficiency. When we use an automated system, we almost always use the wire feed processes, most commonly flux core. With wire fed process, you don't have stops and starts. Assume that it takes 10 seconds to change a rod if we're running stick. And say we got six rods we got to use to weld out a particular joint. 
Well, that's 60 seconds of lost production right there. Now, think about that 30-inch diameter job we started with. How many rods does it take to run a 30-inch pass? How many passes does it take to run 3 8 inch wall 30-inch diameter? Doesn't take very long to use up a lot of time just changing out rod. Using the wire-fed process improves efficiency in use of time and in consumables. How much stub do we drop every time we run rod? We might drop off. Very rarely do they run it down to an inch and a half. Usually stop it at four inches, right? That's what your drop usually is. That's a good bit of drop over a whole pipe. Consider also that the welder doesn't have to get down on his back at the beginning or the end of the pass. We can reduce the fatigue on the welder himself. They'll feel better and be more productive, allowing the tractor or a machine to hold, and weld hold the welding gun and proceed around the pipe eliminates the requirement for the welder himself to reposition each time. And they don't have to extinguish the arc to do so. The arc can stay on while he moves so he can see the arc in a different position. The results, greater arc on time, greater efficiency, and that manual control that makes a pipe welder a pipe welder is no longer necessarily needed. Now we always will need pipe welders, but the shoulders and arms and wrists don't end up getting quite as fatigued through the run of one weld or throughout a day. And so your first weld ends up just like your last weld. We can maximize weld deposition rates. That doesn't necessarily mean you make the biggest weld. It just means you make the most efficient weld. Think about some of the high strength steels we have to run now in pipe. You can't necessarily just turn the knob all the way to the right and just pour it in. You have to run a particular procedure. With a machine, with automation, performing the weld with an automated system provides control and uniformity so that the entire weld is the same from the beginning to end. And probably one of the most important things, you do it right the first time. Being efficient requires that we perform each and every task the same each and every time. Doing any task more times than not than is necessary is less efficient. So what do we have to do if we do it wrong? Well, first, of course, we make the weld. Then we have to inspect the weld. However we do that, RT, UT, visual, we still have to inspect it. Then we find a defect in it. Okay, no big deal. But now we have to grind it out. And then we have to have someone make that weld over again. So, not only do we have the loss of the material, the rod, we have the loss of the grinding, we have the loss of the time for the helper to do the grinding, and then we got to reinspect it. All of those things cut into our efficiency. Anytime we do it twice, it's inefficient. Automating the pipe weld improves your efficiency, but at the same time improves your quality. Quality through consistency, every time, every weld. We perform the same motion every single time. We use the same travel speed every time. The torch angle remains the same. We use the same welding parameters. Not only just from weld to weld on a given pipeline, but from project to project. Now we read some places in the industry periodicals that we don't have enough welders, and that's true. So using automation in pipe welding makes better use of the welders that we do have. In military terms, we call it a force model multiplier. We make better uses of the resources that we have available. Of course, a machine will never replace the trained eyes and hands of a professional welder, but a person that doesn't have that outstanding eye-hand coordination, but does know exactly what they want the puddle to look like, 
can run one of these machines and become just as efficient and just as productive. The advantage is they do it the same way over and over and over again. So let's think about that project we described at the beginning. 60 joints, 3 eighths wall, 30 inch diameter. This was an actual production job by one of our customers, Tampa Tank in Tampa, Florida. The success of implementing automation on a project is defined by productivity. And that's the time needed to weld a certain amount, a certain length. And the quality, which is defined by the amount of rejects you have. Some data that was collected by the project manager, when he bid the job, he expected for 12 inches of weld, it would take him 0.25 man hours. So 15 minutes. When they put the Buggo Piper automated welding system on it, they reduced that time to 0.1 man hours. A productivity increase of 250%. Pretty fair feedback. Then, when they talked about their reject rate, they would expect up to 21% when they were running it with stick. When they used the Piper, they reduced to near 0%. Out of all of the joints, there were none that needed to be ground out. And this was on the very first project that they used this machine on. So it's not a case of, oh, they used it for 10 years and they knew, knew what they were doing. It can indeed be used from right at the start. Let me give you a little information on four of the machines that you can see in our booth. That's 5013 over bun in uh, row 5000. The Universal Bugomatic. This machine is a compact drive with a linear oscillator all assembled into a single package. The system is an excellent solution for general mecha mechanical contractors. It can be applied to almost any welding application not just circular ones for pipe. The tractor can be mounted to any of the carriages for various uh, rail types, buggo straight rail or bent curved rail or the flexible rail. It's easily mounted and dismounted and easily moved from job to job. It comes equipped with a pendant control. Operator has control of all functions in his hand, can make steering adjustments, Immediately, you can see the fellows have a pendant in their hand with a steering knob. Another advantage to the Universal Bugomatic is it uses your uh, wire feeder that you already have in your inventory. You can take any of your standard uh, suitcase feeders or even a bench mount feeder and attach the welding gun to this product and start making welds. The Universal Bugomatic has been around the, for a number of years. Um, there are hundreds over the, around the world. There have been 60 of them just in the last year. Um, at least 50% of those have been used for pipe applications. Next machine is the modular drive. The modular drive is the backbone of the Buggo product line, composed of many individual modules that can be configured for almost any welding application and cutting application. Like the Universal Bugomatic, it's an excellent solution for the mechanical contractor. By changing modules, the system can be configured to perform linear stringers or program stitch welds or vertical up groove welds, horizontal fillets or cutting or shape cutting in two, in two dimensions. Each different control module can be mounted directly to the drive or it can be used with a remote pendant. It can be equipped with an automatic height control so that you don't have to deal with out of roundness between your rail and your pipe. It will monitor the current and adjust the stick out as it travels. And just like the Universal Bugomatic, it uses your wire feeder and gun that you already have in your inventory. Modular drive, again, is a very flexible platform, 
Just last year, we put 450 of those into operation. The Piper Bug. This is a fully integrated system. It comes composed of the tractor, the control box, the operator pendant, welding power source, welding gun, and all cables and hoses. System available in both air-cooled and water-cooled. Designed to perform flux cord fill and cap welds using gas shielded flux core. Wire feeder and the spool are mounted directly on the tractor itself. Provides a very reliable wire feed. The welding power source used is the Lincoln Invertec V350. Standard field proven power source used all over the world. As far as uh, the number of Piper bugs in the field, um, 15 units on a 20 inch line in Portugal, 14 units on a 66 inch water line in Jordan, and a number of them in Florida being used by Tampa Tank and uh, Gonzales and Sons. Final product I'm talking about is the Piper Plus. It too is composed of a tractor, control box, operator pendant, wire feeder, power source, gun, cables, hoses, everything you need. It's also available in an air or water cooled configuration. It too is a fully integrated system. It's capable of any of the standard processes, any wire feed process. MIG, pulse MIG, STT for roots, flux core, gas shielded flux core, inner shield, anything. Metal core, solid wire, nickel, doesn't really matter. It's connected to the Lincoln PowerWave S350. As such, again, any of the, the uh, procedures and modes that are available in the S350 can be run with this power source. The other uh, part of the makes that usable is we use the 4R220 automation wire feeder. It's the same wire feeder that's used on the FANUC robots, so we have a very consistent wire feed. And it has a full digital interface. Communicates completely over the ArcLink uh, protocol system, so it can uh, have complete feedback for heat input, travel, control, all of those. The Piper Plus has only been out a year. At this point, we have uh, 13 units in operation in Poland, with another six to be delivered and installed before the end of the year, along with uh, multiple units in Abu Dhabi and also in Saudi Arabia. So we either adapt or die. You've heard that the only thing consistent in the world is change, and competition is always at our heels forcing us to change. So we must adapt. If you'd like to learn how to adapt a little bit about automating your pipe welding, come over to 5013. I'll be happy to talk to you. Thanks for your time.